Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Barbecue Chief. Back at it again. NFL predictions week two. On spotlight this time. That there were some week one predictions I was completely wrong about. And remind me never to vote against the Bears again. They completely blew me out of the water with that crazy win. Uh, the Washington football team beat the Eagles when I expected the Eagles to win that game. Uh, Rams, I knew that defense was going to go completely right. I wasn't sure how the offense was going to look with the new additions to it. And like people have said, I'll, I'll just this week, like without the preseason games, how is it going to look? And you've seen how it worked. Week two, let's have some fun. Also, make sure you guys like. Make sure you also subscribe to this channel. If 78.2% of you aren't subscribed, go do it. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, a Burger Chief, back at it again with another video. And uh, another NFL predictions video. Uh, week two. Week two. Week one had some very different approaches than I expected it to be. Uh, but let's get right into this. Uh, Thursday night. Bengals, Brown. Bengals only lost by three to the Chargers, mind you. And the Browns got completely smoked. By the Ravens. They're at Paul Brown Field this weekend, or this week on Thursday night. And the Bengals with Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, a mobile quarterback. Uh, mm, there's nothing I can say about it. I think actually the Browns are about to go 0 2. The Bengals with Joe Burrow at the helm. Almost went overtime with the Chargers, but I think the Bengals actually take a win here. They go one and one on the season. The Browns go zero and two, and uh, that's it. Both have high-powered offenses. Defenses will not be too good. One will shut down the run. One will shut down the pass. I promise. But I still take. The Bengals in this one with Joe Burrow as a, as quarterback. Uh, they win it by two scores. Uh, let's say we make it twenty eight to fourteen. That's gonna be a low scoring game. Uh, next up here, Jaguars Titans. Jaguars really did a number last week. In week one, they held off the Indianapolis Colts, who started out with Jacoby Brissett, uh, Titans with Ryan Tannehill, who did actually pretty good, kept the Broncos only. 14 points. That defense kept the Broncos to 14 points. Only to two scores. Katkowski needs to do better this week for the Titans. Josh Lambeau needs to do good for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And do like they did last week. Just Gardner Minshew needs to put on a show. That defense of the Jaguars does need to shut down King Henry. Or Derrick Henry. And that offense of the Titans. And the Jaguars offense just needs to explode. I think this will be a close one. This will be a touchdown game. Sorry Jags, but you're about to go 1-1. One one. The Titans are about to go 2-0. The Titans win it, but only by 7. Titans win it 
28 to 21. Uh, next up, Panthers, Bucks, both 0 and 1, and the Bucks lost to the Saints by 11 last week, where the Panthers only lost by four to the new Las Vegas Raiders in Carolina. Uh, I think handily. There is a high-powered offense of Tampa Bay, but it didn't show up much last week. The defense of the Saints just completely destroyed that offensive line of the Bucks. The Saints D got to Brady a lot quicker than you he expected it to. Uh, the Panthers kept fighting and fighting for that win with Teddy Bridgewater and Derek Carr battling it out to see who would win. Uh, this week, I think the Panthers go 0-2 with Teddy Bridgewater at the helm. Tom Brady finally gets his first win as a Buck, as a Buccaneer. They go 1-1, one one, but I'd say the Bucks actually go win by two scores. I say they win 21-35. to 35. 35 to 21 bucks win it at home in their stadium uh, Next one up Broncos Steelers uh, like I mentioned the Broncos just barely won or <laughs> The Broncos Just barely lost to the Titans. They should not be one another they should be 0 and one but uh Those things should be flipped. So the Broncos actually head down to or head to Pittsburgh to the cold. Uh, Drew Locke at a quarterback. They they kept them to only a two point win for the Titans on defense. And the Steelers offense a little rusty with now. Big Ben, Big uh, Ben Roethlisberger at the helm. They they did pretty well, winning tw uh, the Bucks or the Steelers winning twenty six to sixteen. One or yeah, uh, winning by ten points against the Giants. Andy Rutherford, New Jersey, in New York Stadium. And the Broncos just barely lost at home. So this defense of the of the Broncos needs to spike it up and get to Ben Roethlisberger a lot more. And this Broncos offense needs to put it into high gear and take it another gear up. And just make sure that this Steelers defense with TJ Watt and those guys don't overpower what... Drew Locke in the high-powered offense have, and doesn't uh, get overpowered by what Big Ben and those guys have to run as an offense. Uh, next one up, the Eagles. The Eagles did not win. They uh, Carson Wentz got sacked eight times in a loss to the Washington football team and the Rams will beat the Cowboys by three 20 to 17 uh, but yeah the what's this here? What's this here? Eagles lost by 10 to where the Rams actually won by three. There's going to be a point differential there, so I say the Rams actually win by seven. That defense of the Rams is still going to be amazing within it. There's no way nothing goes wrong with that defense. Unless somehow during the week there's injuries. I say the Rams come into Philadelphia and win it, making them 2-0 on the season, making the Eagles... 0-2 oh, 
they win it pretty handily. They win it 35 to 14 by three scores. Next up, 49ers and Jets. 49ers got beat by the Arizona Cardinals, which I did not expect. The Jets just got their, hand, their butts handed to them. They lost by 10 to the Bills. Bills actually a really good team. 49ers are a good team. They just didn't have the trail to finish it in my eyes. Uh, the 49ers lost by 4, 34 to 30 to the Cardinals. Excuse me, 24 to 20. But I think the 49ers will actually go into New Rutherford, New Jersey this week. And this weekend. And put the hurt on these Jets at home. So the 49ers actually win it. 28 to 7. So they win by three scores. Next one up, Bills, Dolphins. The Dolphins actually lose last week to a Cam Newton now offense of the New England Patriots. And the Bills, we were kicking butt last weekend. I think they can do it again in, at Hard Rock Stadium. The Bills actually are going to win it. They have a high powered offense and a medium tier defense. You got Ryan Fitzpatrick at the helm of the Dolphins. He was Fitzmagic last year, but I don't see them making a comeback here. I think the Bills win it. 35 21. Only by two scores, but that's something else. So, both of these teams in this next one. I predicted to lose last week and one or both of them did. Indianapolis starting out with Jacoby Brissett and then ending up with Philip Rivers. I don't think the Philip Rivers switch helped them in the end. They lost by seven to to the Jacksonville Jaguars, Gardner Minshew, and now it's Rivers slash Brissett versus Kirk Cousins. Uh, the Vikings here actually lost at home last week. And the Colts actually lost away. So the Colts are now at home. Lucas Oil Stadium actually is a really good stadium to play in. But I think the Colts are actually about to go 0-2. The Vikings about to finally go get a win here. The Colts win it. Or, excuse me. The Vikings win it. 35-21. to They win by... Or, 35-28. to They win by one score, but they make it... Make a win. Packers, Lions, uh, <laughs> the Lions were so close to beating the Bears. I called it last week, or was almost close to calling it last week, but couldn't pull it off. Uh, Packers, they handily put the Vikings away. Uh, at Lambeau, there's not much of a chance for the Lions, I'm sorry. But I think the Packers actually gonna are going to win this game. They're gonna put a handy little uh, handy score on them. I say the Packers actually win it, forty-two to twenty-one. They put up three scores in between, and they win by three scores. Next one up, Giants Bears. Giants. Lost 
to the Steelers by 10 points. And the Bears won by 3. And I had the Lions beating them. Never, and remind me never to vote against the Bears again. Trubitsky looked perfect in the second half. He just needs to put his second half into his first half and he can be fine. I actually, I'm going to say the Bears will win it. At home, in, at Soldier Field, 28 to 14. It's going to be a low scoring matchup, but. There's not much I can say about these teams. Uh, Danny Dimes, or... I can't remember his name now. <laughs> Goodness, but Danny Dimes' is nickname versus Mitchell Trubisky. A high-powered a high offense for the Giants. High-powered offense for the Bears. But that defense of the Bears is going to slaughter the Giants here. I say the Bears win it. As I said earlier. 35 to 21. <sighs> the Washington football team versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals completely surprised me last week. And the Washington football team did the same. Uh, Cardinals are at home at State Farm Stadium. Where the Washington football team travels... Uh, Dwayne Haskins versus Kyler Murray. I think Kyler Murray is going to get the best here. That defense of the Cardinals is going to explode. The Washington football team, I mean, if they put Alex Smith in, they would be perfectly fine. I could see that happening again. But I think the Cardinals win it, but only by three points. They win it 24-21. Ending the game off. Chiefs, Chargers. This has always been a bracketed play. This is a divisional game. Chiefs, Chargers. Uh, mm. Tyrod Taylor at the helm of the Chargers. Won against the Bengals last week by three. It's just because the Bengals kicker couldn't make a field goal to tie it and take it to overtime. The Chiefs have Harrison Butker, have a high-powered offense. Defense did amazingly well Thursday night. And I truly believe that that defense will show up again against these Chargers. The defense of the Chargers has grown. But not to the extent that the Chiefs, offense, or the Chiefs defense has. Uh, Legereus need in for Charverius Ward. And a lot of those players are out. It's located collarbone and some of those things. But I think with Legereus Sneed and our rookie running back, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, we win it 42 to 28. We win by two scores. And I th really think that's going to happen. Ravens, Texans. Uh, Texans lost to the Chiefs by 14 the week before. Ravens completely put the herd on the Browns. Uh, Ravens have a really good high-powered offense, and the defense did pretty well against the Browns. This Texans defense, they stopped our offense. They stopped the Chiefs' offense. But then just kind of like lackadaisically put it to, towards the end. But I think this high-powered Texans defense is getting ready for the run game of Lamar Jackson and some of these other mobile quarterbacks like Pat Mahomes and these guys. But uh, the Texans are, I, I believe the Texans can shut down Lamar Jackson. Even though they didn't shut down our running game and passing game for the Chiefs. Of the Chiefs. I think the Texans win it at home. At NRG Stadium. With a hefty, hefty win. The Texans win it. 42. 
the 21. Seahawks, Patriots, a Cam Newton led offense versus a Russell Wilson led offense. Uh, New England heading to Seattle, unless the place has changed to play. Um, Sorry, New England, but I think you're going to go 1-1 one one this week. Uh, Seattle's about to go 2-0. Oh. High the high-powered offense of Seattle. Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf. That defense of the Seattle Seahawks can overpower Cam Newton and that O-line of the Patriots. I truly think that Seattle will win 42-28. to 28. Uh, last game, Saints Raiders in the new stadium for the Raiders, and I think they're about to go own one in the new stadium because the Saints fans, the or excuse me, the Saints fans won't be there. Uh, an empty stadium for the first year of the Vegas Stadium being open, but I think without that, the Saints can still explode out of this gate I think the Raiders <laughs> they need a better defense in, in my opinion uh, Saints win it but they do not get a blowout they win but they win 35 to 21 because of that high-powered offense of the Raiders defense just needs to step up for these Raiders I want to say peace out. Let's have a good week of football.